Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's Frilici Friday. I am Amy Frilici and we are here. Oh my goodness. So you guys, what are we gonna play with today? We have a new holiday mini catalog. So we are gonna be playing with some fun stuff from our new catalog and I can finally show you guys the inside pages. We'll just flip real quickly. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we have a new holiday mini catalog that we can play with. Hello, Miss Susan and welcome. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are playing with, what do I wanna show you guys first? So this I think is one of my favorite stamp sets. I think um, I'm calling them fat stars. <laughs> so it's the sweetest stars bundle. They're like chubby stars, right? So there's a star punch and then Miss Jamie, hello and welcome. And then this super cute little sweetest star stamp set. So again, the punch kind of, well, not kind of, it completely coordinates with the three images in the stamp. So we have uh, like a fat little gingerbread man star, a fat little Santa, and is that like a Mrs. Claus, fat little Mrs. Claus? <laughs> Anyway, um, but then I love the sentiments, right? One says, may your days be merry and bright, baking spirits bright, sweet wishes, and wishing you a holly jolly Christmas. So there, if we get that out of the glare. So that is the stamp set and the punch that we're going to play with. And then we also have this, it's called Take a Bow. Instead of Take a Bow, it's the Take a Bow Designer Series Papers. <laughs> Uh, this is all I have left of this pattern, but it's awesome. Hello, Philomena. So it's kind of, what is that? Uh, I don't know, plaid, <laughs> we're going to say. Sorry, my mind is going to be all over the place today as usual. And then we've got a kind of a garden green polka dot in the back. So it comes in six by six pieces, but like I said, I don't even have one six by six piece of this left. Sandy, hello and welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. So four different patterns. That's it. It's 48 sheets. So is that six times? No, four. Gosh, is that right? So there are 12 different sheets. I think that's, I think that's right. 12, well, 12 sheets of each of these patterns. Sorry, I'm gonna keep that one up there, of the designer series paper. So I'm gonna show you, this one has the pretty leaves and then love that little diagonal stripe, right? We've got some like real red and white polka dots and then some more diagonal. So kind of, we've got a couple of those diagonal stripes, right? And then some polka dots with a more kind of garden green pattern on the back. So that is what we're gonna play with today. We're jumping right into Christmas. It's funny, cause at first I kind of hesitated, like, I don't know, is it too soon to do Christmas stuff? And then I'm like, you know what, why not? Might as well get us all started, get us in the holiday card and project making spirit, maybe not the holiday spirit yet, right? Cause it's funny, it was supposed to be like, I'm, <laughs> you know, as usual running around, um, it was supposed to be like a high of like 60 some degrees here today in Michigan. And let me tell you what, my body temperature is telling me it's like 90 degrees in my house right now. Um, so yeah, I've got to, <laughs> I have to just like calm down a little bit, I think. Um, but anyway, so what was my point? Oh, because it kind of felt funny, like maybe playing with Christmassy stuff already. But I'm like, why not? The holidays will be here before you know it. I am... I don't know, maybe um, in my older age, right? I'm realizing like, okay, I gotta get ahead of the game a little bit more than maybe I have been uh, living my life. So yeah, why not get started? I think I'm just really excited to make cute holiday projects. So like, let's get going with it, right? So anyway, that's what we're gonna be playing with today. I'm gonna actually scoot this back over here. So I'm all ready to go and not confused because that can happen pretty easily around here. Um, so don't forget, if you don't have a holiday mini catalog, please let me know. I would love to get one sent out to you. Just you can comment right on here. You can email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. Let me know if you need a catalog. I love being able to flip through the pages. It's funny because we had to not had to, but we got to put our pre-order in at the beginning of August, I think it was. Um, and I didn't have my catalog yet. And it's so hard for me to shop online. I love like, right, like flipping through the pages and ooing and eyeing all over all of the pretty products in there. Hello, Miss Carla and welcome, welcome. So yes, let me know if you need a catalog. Also, and you know what, I will... I know I showed you guys this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. I well, 
I guess I showed you guys last time, didn't I, right? All of our designer series paper in the new holiday mini catalog. I have 10 packs of paper in here that I'm including in the designer series paper share. So this is an example of, actually maybe if we go this way, um, we can kind of just like flip. So that's the fall, there's our take. Oh, actually I do have, right? So you're gonna get, now that I think about that, cause I, I had almost one extra pack of all of the designer series paper. So yeah, in the paper share, so one, two, so here's the one I didn't have, right? That one right there. So you get, yeah, in the paper share, you're gonna get three of each of these patterns of paper. Sorry, I'm like prolonging this a bit, but there. So this is the designer series paper that we're gonna play with today. Sandy, hello and welcome, but in the paper share. So usually you only get one of each, but because there aren't a bunch of different patterns in this Take a Bow designer series paper, you're gonna actually get three of each of those patterns. So for example, in this other six by six, that fall designer series paper, we have 12 different patterns, so you're gonna get 12 different sheets, okay? So that's the only one that you're gonna get multiples of is the take a bow just because of how that is set up. And then here, these are all six by 12 pieces of designer series paper. So we'll kind of flip through these. I think this is sentimental Christmas. That's just some beautiful gold foil accent paper. Can't remember the names of many of these yet. This is fun though, this reindeer paper. And what's kind of, so I, I like the reindeers. I think they're cute, but then I also love like the back sides of each of them are just more traditional Christmas. Like I love that pattern. That was one where I'm like, oh, maybe we should be, that's why I'm excited, right? Cause I cut this designer series paper share, my first one. And I was like, look at all this beautiful paper. That's like the, I don't know, bird nest paper, I'm gonna call it. But then again, even the bird nest paper, you can see like that's the backside of a couple. So if you love birds, great. And if you're not so excited about birds, you've got like backsides that are really kind of nice and neutral, but very like soft and pretty. And then this is maybe the Regal Flora or something like that. But that's gorgeous too. Very like beautiful, deep kind of, rich fall and winter colors. And we've got some sparkle paper, some glimmer paper, real red garden green, and what's that other one? Granny apple green. And then lastly, we have some more foil specialty paper there too. The one that I am missing, because I was, what did I do? I gave it away for bingo a couple of weeks ago and I was only able to order two packs. So Snowy Scenes Designer Series paper is not in here yet. So there's gonna be another six sheets. But basically you get all this paper for only $38 in the Designer Series paper share. So let me know if you would like one of these. I have ordered for the people that have already RSVP'd. I will continue to order as, um, orders and payments come in so that I can get you this paper because look at, I mean, $38 gets you all of that paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Plus you get a half a pack of these, what are these called? The Regal Foiled Adhesive Back Docs. You're gonna get a half a pack of those as a little freebie thrown in to your paper share. So I'd be happy to get one of those for you. Just let me know if you're interested. And what else do we have going on? Do, 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 do. Oh, online scrapbooking brochure. Have you guys heard about this? So that's the thing, it's online only. I was able to kind of print for my own self, my own purposes. Hello, Miss Teresa. This is the scrapbooking brochure. So it's kind of um, an addition to our holiday mini catalog. Basically, this is kind of Stampin' Up's um, first effort, I would say, at uh, fully integrating the Close to My Heart products into our Stampin' Up product line. So I will flip the camera down. Actually, I've got some other information in here too, it looks like, but you guys can kind of see like this is the, so I printed, like I said, one for myself. I need to remember I have class this afternoon. I want to try to remember to, Amy, remember to bring this to class. <laughs> Someone comment at the end of this and remind me, all right, that I need to bring this to class after we're done with Facebook Live. That's what happens is I show you guys so much and then I'm like, oh, I want to take it to class and show people there too. But 
craft or math happens around here as Facebook Live happens and it gets a little discombobulated. So hello, Patty, and welcome, welcome. So I will, um, we're gonna flip the camera down and we'll take a peek at these pages because they're, it's basically 12 by 12 cardstock. So we're doing two-tone cardstock. So for example, real red is like regular bright real red on one side and then kind of a faded or muted version of real red. So you end up with like twice as many color options really. And then a bunch of designer series paper packs. Um, they actually even have like scrapbook page making kits where you get everything that you need. So you get the 12 by 12 cardstock, you get the designer series paper, they give you stickers that kind of coordinate with the designer series paper. And then they actually give you instructions on how to put the, uh, so it's three um, 12 by 12 two page layouts. So you essentially, yeah, you end up with three layouts. So six pages total. And it's like, what do I, now I have to look because it was really inexpensive. I just ordered my first one. Yeah, so here's an example of uh, kind of everything that you get in this Reindeer Memories Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. Okay, I have to put my glasses on because I do want to kind of tell you guys about this. So we have, it says it makes three two-page 12 by 12 scrapbook spreads. Kit includes instructions and one of each item listed below. So there's 12 by 12 two-tone cardstock. You get nine sheets, white willow 12 by 12 cardstock, which I think is um, like, a, like a close to my heart color, um, like a traditional white color. So three sheets of that. Double-sided 12 by 12 designer series paper, six sheets. Single-sided 12 by 12 designer series paper, four sheets. Then you get a 12 by 12 sticker sheet, a 12 by 12 ephemera sheet, six by six die cut sheet, photo placeholders. You get all of that for $37, you guys. And yeah, we're gonna have to flip it when I flip down. So there's an example of the scrapbook page layout. So you get three layouts there also, and they tell you exactly how to cut and do everything with the instructions. So super duper cool. Um, and there are a few of those. So we'll peek at those a little bit more when I flip the camera down. Um, but I'm just so excited, right? I had to show you guys, tell you guys about it right now. Plus it's in my notes and I got to stay on track <laughs> so I don't get myself confused. Okay, so we are ready. Let's do our first drawing. This is our drawing for the basic gray and smoky slate pearls. Beautiful kind of shiny and then matte pearls in basic gray and smoky slate. Your name, as always, is right here in my basket. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, if you posted a picture of a project that you made right here to our Facebook group, every single project that you post, your name goes in here. So post 10 projects, your name's in here 10 times. And what else? Oh, one random post I picked if you commented on that post, your name is in here too. So comment away, you never know which post I'm gonna pick. Your name could be in here. All right, one lucky winner for, here we go, who is it? Miss Jen Ludley. All right, congratulations, Jen. Thank you so much. I think she shared the, no, I'm trying to remember how she, I think she shared the video. So thank you for your share, Jen, if that's what you did. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, a little bit out of it as usual. Um, but yes, I will get these pearls. Oops, where did your name go? Did it fall back in here? I do always like to keep it. Well, I can remember that, right? Jen Ludley. <laughs> I don't know, it fell somewhere. Anyway, okay, Jen, congratulations on winning those pearls. So what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, you guys? So in two weeks from today, we'll be back again two weeks from today. These are the 2023-25 in color opaque sparkle gems. So you can see they're sparkly, opaque right? So we've got all the beautiful in colors that are gonna be around. Actually, what do we have? gosh, maybe like six or eight months, something like that. So these colors will be retiring on April 30th. Not for a while, but just know that, that if you love these colors, make sure you get everything you need in those colors. We'll be talking more about that as time gets closer to when they retire too. But that's what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, right? So again, share this video right here. Sign up for my email list, post a picture of a project, or comment on a post that I've made right here on our, or anybody's post, actually not just my post, but anybody's post right here on our Facebook group. Your name could be in that drawing, okay? 
Um, I want to give a quick reminder to any of my current Inkspired Stampers team members or anyone that is a demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Even if you're not with my team, obviously I want to make sure to share this information with everyone that September 30th is the end of our Stampin' Up year, which means retitling happens. So check where you're at if you are meeting your title requirements and will continue to by the end of September, then you'll keep your title for a whole nother year. Even if your kind of requirements dip below where they need to be throughout the year, it's basically as of September 30th. So for example, the one I always love to make sure to give, Bronze Elite. You wanna make sure you have at least $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales by September 30th. And then you keep that 25% discount for an entire another year, right? So starting October 1 through next September 30, 2025, you keep your 25% discount. If you are at silver status and you wanna keep that status, you need to have rolling sales of $3,600 and one team member. So again, make sure just as of September 30th, you have that, then you keep your 25% discount because you're definitely at Bronze Elite and above, right? And then you actually also get a 2% product bonus for um, being at silver status. So basically they look at your sales each quarter, figure out what 2% of that is, and they pop that into like a demonstrator order as a credit for you to use and play with. So wanna make sure you keep those title requirements, okay? So if you have any questions on that, let me know. I'm happy to kinda help you figure out where you're at and what you need to do if you're not quite there, what you need to do to get back up to that level, okay? Um, let's see, a couple more quick reminders. I have customer appreciation event coming up. It's next Thursday, so one week from yesterday, September 12th. That's a local event right here in Alma, the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma, Michigan from 6 to 9 p.m. So if you're local or if you don't mind driving a bit, come on up and see us for an evening of fun. It's basically my way to say thank you to you guys for an awesome year with Stampin' Up! Because again, September 30th is the end of our Stampin' Up! year. Kind of with that being said, <laughs> and it's funny because my friend Stacy was saying, so are we gonna be getting that email about help me earn the trip? <laughs> and so now I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can even do that this year. So I am um, a few points away from earning the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Um, Again, I have until September 30th to earn that trip. So if you're thinking about putting an order in and you're not sure who you should order from right here, this is who you should order from. Pretty, 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 please. Um, and make sure you use the host code, my new host code for September. You'll get your name in the drawing for all the Facebook Live freebies too. And again, and as always, I truly appreciate all of your orders and your help in um, me reaching that goal to make it on, I think, it's funny, I think, I don't know, I, I'd have to look, I don't know, it's, it's like 10, 11, 12 trips in a row, so it would be really devastating to not earn this trip after so many years of earning the trip, so I thank you in advance if you are considering ordering. Um, again, I would truly appreciate your online orders through me. I am throwing in, and I'll show you guys that, actually, let's talk about that, because I think, well, now I'll, I'll come back to that what you're gonna get for your orders through me for the whole month of September. But I do want to say, um, because back to customer appreciation event, I'm trying to figure out like, how can I do something in terms of appreciation for people that aren't local, that can't come um, do the make and takes and get the little free gifts and all that good stuff. So Vina, hello and welcome. So what I want to offer is um, the online version of the buy one, get one free sale. I don't think, cause it takes so much time and work to take pictures of all of that and get it all uploaded. But if you have any interest in participating in the buy one, get one free sale that I do at my customer appreciation event, please let me know what I have been doing the past couple of times I will like I put all my stamp sets out and then I just take pictures so they're kind of stacked up in rows so you can't see um, you know every single stamp set maybe just that front one and then you see the names of all of them but you guys know and you can even search online so if there's one in particular you're looking for let me know I'd be happy to help you participate in the buy one get one free sale even if you're long distance how that would work is so I would send you pictures of all my stamp sets and all of my punches um, if there's anything else that you're looking for I don't take pictures of all the other miscellaneous stuff but I can 
go through my boxes and if there's anything, you know, paper or that sort of thing that you're looking for, I can let you know if I have any of those things. But the idea is you shop from my retired product, it's priced at full catalog value, then you get that same dollar amount for free out of the new holiday mini or the annual catalog. So I always give the example, if you find $50 in retired product, you can get $50 for free out of the current mini or annual catalog. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the current catalog product too. And then if you're long distance, there would also be shipping to get that retired product to you. So, but it's still a great deal. It's still buy one, get one free, right? So if you're interested, let me know and I can send you pictures after the event um, on September 12th. So next Thursday, okay? Um, also, one more quick reminder about the one-day retreat coming up on Saturday, October 19th. That's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. We hang out and craft and I feed you and we have lots of fun and raffles and prizes and goodie bags and make and takes, all kinds of great stuff. Today is actually the last day to RSVP and prepay to get the extra free gift in your goodie bag. You have until the end of September, so September 30th, for final RSVPs, but today is the drop dead deadline to get your payment and RSVP in for that extra free gift in your goodie bag also. So I will include links for all of those things too um, in the details about this Facebook Live video after we get it uploaded afterward on Facebook Live. Okay, um, so let's do our drawing because I have so much I want to show you guys still, but we got to flip the camera down so you don't see it backwards, right? Okay, so again, if you ordered online through me, you are automatically going to receive both of these cards as a thank you from me for your online order. You also got to pick from, so now we're into September, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial featuring this beautiful card, so you can get the tutorial, or this is the free embellishment for September, as long as they don't sell out. These are the Earth Tone Shimmer Gems, so you can pick one or the other PDF tutorial, 16 projects, or the free embellishment. Plus, for the month of September, I'm actually throwing in five additional cards, even with a $50 order, okay? So, two cards, an extra five cards, PDF tutorial, or free embellishment. Look at all this free stuff, right? Plus, right now, if you ordered online through me, your name is in the drawing. Hello, Miss Diane, to win the inspiring Snapdragons stamp set. So, so much good free stuff, right? Okay, so one lucky winner that ordered will win this inspiring Snapdragon stamp set. And let's see, not a lot of names in here, people. I'm telling you, you guys, your odds are always so good of winning. Okay, we have Miss, ah, Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the proud new owner of this beautiful, inspiring Snapdragons stamp set. Okay, I will get that sent out to you. And then, let's see. Ooh, on our next Facebook Live, again, two weeks from today, this is what we're going to give away. This is one of my all-time favorite, well, stamp sets. I gave this away a couple weeks ago. The iconic imagery dies are what we're going to give away this time. So I love, like, there's that big label, kind of medium-sized label, a small label, and then a bunch of other little details that coordinate with the stamp set. I have used this bundle. This is probably one of my absolute favorites. I've used it a million times already. This is part of our online exclusives. So order online through me and you could get your name in the drawing to win those dies as well. Okay, I think we are gonna flip the camera down. <laughs> I am seeing, I feel like I am seeing comments. It's funny because last week, I, or last time we did Facebook Live, yeah, let's just make sure I'm seeing. Well, it's interesting. I am actually not seeing any comments. I don't know if you guys are not commenting. Sorry, I'm like flipping that with my finger. Someone just say hello or post some kind of a comment um, because I, this happened last time. It was funny because uh, Mike was here um, from out of town uh, last time we did Facebook Live and he popped on and said hello. And then I didn't see any of your hello comments back to him until I looked at the comments later. It was like they weren't showing up on the feed. So I apologize um, if you guys are trying to comment right now. I'm not seeing any comments. I wonder if I've got something turned off on here. You know how Facebook's always changing things too. Maybe they changed it so you don't see them unless you say you wanna see them. So anyway, I would love for someone to make a comment 
and so I can see, yeah, because right now I'm just literally seeing who's watching and that's it. Okay, so if I don't respond to comments, that's why. Not because I don't want to, it's because Facebook's not showing them to me, okay? So Facebook, if you're listening, because you're, somebody is always listening, right? <laughs> Get that fixed for me, please, would you? <laughs> okay, um, yeah, okay. All right, I think we're good. We're gonna flip the camera down. I'll show you guys this, right? Actually, wait, hold on. Do, 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 yeah, okay those there sorry you know my little attempt at organizing here okay yeah I think we're good okay yeah <laughs> sorry here we go okay turn your heads away we are flying through the air and we're gonna flip the camera down I'm gonna share with you guys this scrapbooking brochure so again this is only available online I wish I could like get something in there. It's basically because this all happened so quickly with close to my heart. Um, they weren't able to, they didn't know probably. I mean, I don't, can't remember, you know, they're working on like catalogs, I don't know, a year or two from now. So they, they already had our holiday mini catalog all put together, I'm sure, before we decided, hey, let's become a part of, you know, or take over some of the close to my heart product line. So this is the new scrapbooking brochure, again, available only online. Carolyn, hello and welcome. Okay, so what's kind of interesting is I think it's like this, right? So if you were to look online, it's, it's like you're flipping through the catalog. So this is an example of our two-tone cardstock. So here they're showing real red in full on real red and then kind of a dusty muted version black pool party and garden green okay it says it comes in 12 by 12 it has a white core so when you rip it you can kind of see right there too so that's different um, right now our cardstock is kind of colored or dyed all the way through it's great for card making and scrapbooking easy, easy to use with your favorite stamps and tools two-sided paper with complementary shades of the same color on each side and then there's this new white willow we've brought close to my heart's white daisy okay and added it to our line under a new name white willow this is 12 by 12 cardstock and is a scrapbooking favorite comes in 12 sheets for ten dollars hello miss elsie okay so that's say one page then here's an example right of the reindeer memories there, you guys can see all that. So this is the one I showed you before where you basically get all of this in a kit and then they tell you how to make these three two-page layouts. It's $37 for all of that, okay? You can also get individual things like the designer series paper with the stickers. There's a stamp set and some 12 by 12 cardstock. So if you don't wanna get that full kit on those previous pages, you can get kind of individual things there too. So that's one. Here's another. This is called Snow Day, and I'll show you, kind of bring that up a little bit more so you get the idea, right? So again, three two-page layouts. You can get the workshop kit that includes the 12 by 12 cardstock, white willow cardstock, designer series paper, more designer series paper, and a sticker sheet and some photo placeholders. So super duper cool. But again, only you can only look at this online, right? Other than kind of what I'm showing you here. Same thing though, if you don't want to get that full scrapbooking kit, you can get the designer series paper with the stickers, the stamp set, and the cardstock, okay, separately. I guess I'll say Halloween, we also have, right? I'd like to show you, maybe I'll show you these. So this is an example of the layouts that they show us how to make in the scrapbooking workshop kit, right? Or again, you can get the, and this one was a little bit different because you can get the designer series paper and I think that's, I don't know, one of them is this, oh, this is the sticker sheet right here, right? So you can get the designer series paper and the sticker sheet or just the designer series paper without the sticker sheet, stamp set, and cardstock. So those first two, you couldn't get it separate, but the Halloween one, you can. And then same thing with this autumn to remember. So again, Mary, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so here I'm not seeing comments. Again, if anybody has commented, 
I have not seen it. Maybe try to comment and I'll see if I can't. Hopefully I can see it because I love, I love kind of interacting with you guys and I'm not, I'm bumming that I'm not seeing any of your comments. But again, this one, there is a kit that includes all of this and instructions on how to make those three two page layouts. Or if you want to do it yourself, do your own thing. You can get the designer series paper and the sticker sheet or just the designer series paper. You can get the 12 by 12 cardstock and then the autumn to remember stamp set as well. Okay, and then that's it. This was the back cover. And then those are some other, <laughs> Sharon, when Sharon Greening watches this later, my team member, this was her list. She went through and gave us um, the names of all of the embellishments in the annual catalog and the colors of everything because it wasn't listed in the catalog and it was driving some people crazy. So she went online and pulled all that information for us. So that was very lovely of Miss Sharon. Okay, so let's get this so that we are, that's pretty well centered, right? And here, let me make sure I can see my fingertips. Okay, we might be a little crooked, you know. <laughs> that's kind of the story of my life. Just a little bit crooked. Okay, so mm -hmm. the other thing I want to show you guys is the swaps that I, well, this is the swap that I made participated in a holiday catalog swap. I'm trying to make that bow look pretty, right? So um, this is some of that take a bow. And that's why I'm out of this designer series paper, right? Because I used it on my swaps. And then I did use, so again, because I, I love this, right? The paper, the stamp, and the punch too from the, what is it? What are those called? It's the sweetest Sweetest star. <laughs> I couldn't remember what we're playing with. Hello, Mr. Michael. How are you? Can't wait to see you later. He's driving up again this weekend. So we're going to see the Blake Shelton concert at the Soaring Eagle Resort up in Mount Pleasant tomorrow night. So I um, he's coming up again this weekend. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So back to what we're playing with here. So designer series paper that we are using on our projects today as well. And then um, that sweetest star stamp and punch too. So this is the swap I created. And Mike actually did help me with these swaps too. Um, no, or wait, did he help me with these? I don't know. He was he was die cutting. No, it was, it was treats that we were making. Yep. But he had lots and lots of fun with the die cutting machine. Okay. So these are all the swaps that I received. I'm going to move that right into there. That'll cover up the glare <laughs> from um, the light fixture. Okay, so this is one of the swaps. I'm going to just kind of flip through these and share them with you. I can't remember. I don't know names of many of these things yet, but I love that is some of our, oh, what is that ribbon? The It's that color that's really not very pretty, but <laughs> what is it? The wild wheat. Yes, but I love this ribbon. Can you guys see? It's a beautiful ribbon. So I love how they what they did with that, right? This is one I am going to have to get this stamp and punch. Don't have it yet, but the I think it's called Humble Home, but look at how cute that is. Probably going to have to make that card at our Simple Beautiful card class at some point. Nothing's better than pumpkin spice. That's super cute too, right? I feel like I don't even know where those products are, so I'm going to have to do some investigating on that one. And then another beautiful with that Regal Flora. I think it is. It might not be. These are cool labels, too. I finally found those in the catalog. Going to need to get those. This is why we do this, right? So <laughs> swapping, you're like, I need this, and I need this, and I need this. Because, you know, you see all these cute things. You're like, I want to make something like that, too, right? So how cute is that one with the little reindeer? All right, we're going to just flip these. Ooh, here's another fun one, too, right? Oh, I love that die. So I don't even know where that is. Oh my gosh. Going to have to do some exploring here in the catalog now that, because I opened these and like barely looked at them. So you and I are kind of checking these out at the exact same time right here, right now. So that's some of that, um, I don't know, whatever the name is, but I think this is one-sided designer series paper. Sending love your way. Beautiful sentiment, right? And then we've got this. May all your days be full of cheer. Oops, sorry. Ooh, oh, and she used some of the, can you guys see that pom-pom, the pool party pom-pom ribbon? Love that one. And then let's see, a season of wonder and happiness. 
That's beautiful too, right? Aren't these? Look at, so the one card I made and I get all these great ideas from it. Such a great, if you don't participate in swaps, I'm telling you ladies, you absolutely should. This is beautiful too, right? This grateful for you with that designer series paper. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We've got another cute, lots of reindeers we're going to be seeing here. Yep, because here's one more. So yeah, that Merry Christmas must be in that um, stamp set that comes. And then look, look at that cool, can you guys see the embossing folder too? And then last one. So this is um, that designer series paper, that snowy scenes or snowy days, whatever it is that I'm missing in the, I think this is all part of it, in my paper share. But I will have it. It's just that I couldn't show you guys today. So awesome swaps, right? Beautiful. Lots of good ideas there. Okay, gonna put these in a pile. So I have to step over them so I remember to bring these with me. What else was I going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to lay this on the floor, too. My scrapbooking brochure. That'll be my reminder to bring that, too. Okay. So if I get to class and I don't have it, it's my own darn fault because I would literally have to step over all that stuff <laughs> to walk out the door. It, it could happen, though. I'm not saying it's not going to happen because it could. All right, I think we are ready. Let's do our card making, ladies. So, <laughs> so this one will probably, similar format, right? I just loved stamping that. May your days be merry and bright. Plus the paper, right, is so merry and bright with that circle. And then um, some of this is the white frayed ribbon. Love that. And then I, what I really love about this card is the layout that you can feature three different patterns of the designer series paper on the one card because you don't get to do that very often, right? So let me kind of give you some measurements and so on. And again, here is our stamp set, the Sweetest Star, Sweetest Star stamp set. So there's our sentiment. I just stamped it and punched it right on there. So Again, simple, beautiful, right? Here is our punch, our star punch. And then this is the white frayed, so it's kind of frayed on the edges, right? The frayed grow grain ribbon. Okay, and let me give you some measurements here, right? Oh, I do have, here's my ink pad, right? Put that right there, okay. All right, so we are going to start with, this is a piece of thick white cardstock. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to do the investigating on why I'm not seeing comments. I feel like I saw a few of them on my last Facebook Live, but I literally don't think I've seen one comment and you guys aren't normally that quiet. Okay, so sorry if I, I'm just not seeing them or I would respond. I'll respond after when I watch this back, okay? All right, so basic, I'm sorry, thick white cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay, so there's our card base. Then we have a piece of basic white cardstock. This measures four by five and a quarter. That's gonna layer right on top of there. And then we have our three pieces of take a bow, not take a bow, take a bow, designer series paper. This one measures two and a half by three. That's going to go right there. Then this one goes right there. This one measures one and a quarter by five and one sixteenth. You could probably do five inches and get away with it. And then this one measures two and a half by two and that one's gonna go right there and then i just have scrap pieces of granny apple green and basic white for my stamping and die cutting so let's go ahead and do that and then we will put things together and as always this is going to be after i get back from our simple beautiful card class probably later this afternoon or this evening everything will be uploaded all of the colors dimensions product item codes everything that you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog um, this afternoon or early evening, okay? Um, so in case you missed anything, you can either replay this or you can check out my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. So Granny Apple Green Ink we are using because it coordinates with the little Granny Apple Green polka dots, right? 
and it also coordinates with our granny apple green cardstock. So I'm pressing pretty firmly because when I was stamping before that bright wasn't coming out so well for whatever reason. So, and it's interesting how, how kind of dark this stamps and then it definitely uh, fades a little bit over time too, which I think is interesting. Okay, so let's grab our little star punch, our fat star punch. And we'll put that one right there. All right, and then we are gonna do our die cutting. Okay, let's see, what do we have this thing right here? All right, so you guys can see what's going on. All right, we are using, these are the, my favorite still and as always, the Stylish Shapes dies. So we're using, it's the second largest. I've got the other one at class already. So in case you're wondering which one, I've got, this is the second largest circle we're going to use. We're going to crank this handle. So you can see, uh, but I love, so I was going to say, you can see how simple this card is. I've definitely gravitated toward doing very simple cards these days, but it packs such a punch, I think, with all of the different patterns of designer series paper. Um, and then just the cute uh, sentiment and, sorry, I'm trying to talk and like find what I need here. To... <laughs> there we go. My scissors and my adhesive, my dimensionals. Okay, now we're good to go, right? Um, I think I do want to grab this little guy also though. Okay, so we will, let's just put this right on right now. Okay, we're going to add a couple dimensionals on the back of here. Our little sentiment. Let's put that one right there, right? And what I did was I put dimensionals kind of way over on the side of those. I think that'll do that, right? Now we are gonna bring our paper in. So these are all the sides, well, one side of the paper, right? That we're not gonna show. You could do something fun. And that's the other kind of neat thing about this layout is you, you know, just kind of lay your paper out and decide which ones you think work well together. I liked those patterns together, but if you like some other patterns, you go for it, right? Okay, actually, we're going to do this one first. Okay, so I love the polka dots. Definitely a huge polka dot fan, okay? So we're going to do that one there. And then we're going to do that one right there, right? Okay, and then one more. We're gonna do this little baby right there, okay? So layer that on that panel, right? Then we are going to add some more dimensionals on the back of this, and we're gonna just make this kind of pop right up. We just have to press those down, right? So this is gonna go right on our thick basic white, just kind of popped up on dimensionals, just kind of gives it a little bit of that kind of dimension, right? When it, dimension, because you're using dimensionals, right? <laughs> very apropoly named, appropriately named, very appropriately named. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to run a little bit of adhesive and I actually have, this piece was like a little leftover piece um, from, I don't know, something or other. I have this little dish that I keep my um, kind of scraps of ribbon in. And I was like, oh, look at that. It's absolutely like the perfect length. That's gonna go right there. So we're gonna peel these babies off. I was trying to get these dimensionals kind of on the outside of the ribbon, I'll say, like that. There we go. We are gonna kind of pretty these ends up just a touch because that's a little bit frayed right there right there we go and then lastly we are adding because they coordinate so nicely these are the iridescent adhesive backed discs so we're going to just add a few of these little babies right so i did some of the real red on the green because I thought that kind of popped off of there right and then I did this kind of sparkly iridescent white 
put one of those right there. And that's it. So how cute is that, right? Hello, Miss Tammy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys all for joining us today. I actually didn't put anything on the inside here, but you certainly could have some fun. You could stamp maybe like those little guys um, in the corner. It's funny because we're actually making this card at our Simple Beautiful card class. So I stamped that on the corner of the envelope, I think is what I did at class. So there we go. There is card number one. So as I'm saying that, I need to make sure I have everything all ready to go to take to class to keep myself organized, ladies. It's a tall task these days. All right, so we're gonna pop all this stuff back in here. So it is ready to go. All right, do, 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 do. There we are. Okay, now. Let me show you guys the next card that we are going to make. This one is so cute. <laughs> With the, the chubby little gingerbread man star, right? So <laughs> I just love, I don't know, there's something about him that's so cute. Plus, okay, so these are unorderable for a few more days, I think, but I had to use them with all the colors. I thought they worked so perfectly. So these are, and these are probably going to come and go very regularly, I'm going to say. So these are called the Real Red and White Adhesive Backed Peppermints. Sorry if I flip that. And they have three different sizes. So I use the really small ones. There's a medium and a large size there too. And you get a bunch. Let's see, how many do we get? 150. So you get 50 of each small, medium, and large size. So, okay, you guys, we're gonna have lots of fun on this one here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, we're gonna pull these pull our stamps out. Oh, you know what? I think I actually did stamp on the inside of this one. Yeah, the snowflakes right there. I knew. I was like, I know I did that somewhere. That's where it is. Okay, so again, dimensions. I love this um, color combination too with the early espresso and real red and white. It's just like a really fun traditional kind of gingerbread house. Uh, color combination, I think. So again, a tall card. I'm loving the tall cards these days, okay? So early espresso cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So again, another tall card. We have a piece of white on the inside, four by five and a quarter, always kind of my standard layering. Then we have... These are all my kind of scrap pieces for stamping and die cutting. We have our basic white right here. This one measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter. Then we have our Take a Bow Designer Series paper. This one measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters, and that's gonna layer on there. And I kind of like that having that. Normally I only do a quarter of an inch, but this one's a half an inch all the way around. Then this piece right here, again, more Take a Bow Designer Series paper, one by four and a quarter. I'm gonna go right across the card base. And then this one right there is one by three and three quarters. And that's gonna go right there. And then again, our basic white for our stamping and die cutting. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna do in real red ink, we're gonna do our Sweet Wishes stamp. Okay, so nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. That looks good. I like that font too. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, and then our early espresso ink we are going to use. I'm going to stamp our chubby little, <laughs> our little gingerbread man star. Okay. Press straight down, lift straight up. He's just so happy. I think it's his big smile, right? Okay. And actually on the inside, let's do, where's my white? Let's just do that while we have our ink out. Oh, I need a piece of scrap paper though. Okay, let's see. That's over here. <laughs> I forgot that I needed this. Okay, and I'm moving slow, ladies. I got a good workout in today. I've been having some trouble with my knees lately, so I took some days off last week, and I think things are better, but now my muscles are sore <laughs> from not having worked out for a little bit. So, yeah, just kind of moving gingerly today, I would say. 
Okay, so there's that. Like those pretty littles, the pretty pretties, right? Okay, so we're gonna just put this piece right on the inside right now, okay? So we don't forget to do that, because sometimes I do forget that. I don't know if you guys ever notice that when I'm doing these cards. I'm like, oh, that's right. I meant to do the inside of the card, and I get all done with Facebook Live, and I'm like, oops, I forgot to do that. Okay, so this is the strip that is going to go right along there, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Looks like it's pretty well centered right now. We're gonna put these pieces together. So we're gonna add this one. We're gonna just run right down. And put it right about there, okay. Then we're gonna add, those leaves are pretty too though, aren't they? Right, aren't those beautiful? Okay. Um, do that one right there, okay? I forgot to do my die cutting, but we'll do that. Usually I do that before I'm putting the card together, don't I? But that's okay. We have one, our little sentiment is all we need to do there. So let's, we can punch this little baby, and I think I put the punch in the other tub, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> I wanna be like, ah, oh, as I bend over, but I'm trying not to, because you guys will hear me. Normally I would, if I weren't on Facebook Live, I'd be making all kinds of funny noises <laughs> as I bend over. Okay, um, let's see, we're gonna put a couple dimensionals behind this one right here, and then let's do our sentiment. Oh, I got a little red on my finger. Oh, well. Yep, it's like I got some frosting, right, on my... <laughs> Think of it like that, right? Okay, so we are going to die cut with... And I haven't used these very much, but these are called... What are these called? The perennial postage dies. So we're using that little baby right there. So I've used a few of them, but I thought this was like the perfect little size to fit right on there, right? Okay, so grab this, okay, and do one little die cut right here. And hopefully I don't have more red ink that gets on my sentiment, but I guess we'll see soon enough, right? Oops, oh, there it is. Lots of red ink. Okay, I'm gonna try not to get my thumb on anything. Okay. There we go. All right, let me show you guys this one because I think it's very cute. What it, it's like a ticket, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? With like those little kind of scallopy edges. Yeah, that's what it's like, a ticket, okay. So we're gonna just flip that over. Oops, I thought I flipped it, but apparently not quite. Okay, we're gonna really flip it now. We're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on this one, okay. Oops, that does not want to come off there, does it? Right, we'll bring that one back into view, right? Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. All right, we are gonna add our so cute, right? These dimensional backings, aren't they? Don't you get them like everywhere? All oh, like you can't even help it. They're always everywhere. So I'm just gonna layer these. You know what? Cause this is really bugging me. Yeah, we're gonna stamp that again. I can't even, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna put those beautiful, um, red peppermints on that little star that has, oh my gosh, okay, here we go, that has that ink splotch on it. Okay, so hopefully I don't get anything on this one, right? Okay, we're gonna flip that, we're gonna do that. You can go there, all right. Okay, just pray, right, that I don't peel this baby off. You have got to go, little dude. Try not to put my <laughs> my hand on there at all. 
<laughs> Amy Jo, hello and welcome. All right, now we can do this. There, so we've got that one. And then I think the dots on that side, right? And then that one. And then one more. Aren't these just the cutest? I love those little babies. Okay, and then I use some of this is the in color jute trim. I have been using this so much. So what I'm doing is I'm just like trying to straighten it. I like it kind of wavy, but sometimes it's a little, almost a little too wavy, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that one there. We're gonna trim that. Those things out of the way. We're gonna grab a mini glue dot, and I think we just made. Oops. Well, maybe I didn't actually grab it. <laughs> yeah, it's still on there. <laughs> like that's not sticking very well at all because there's no mini glue dot on there. There we go. All right. So two super cute cards, right? Where's my other? <laughs> Where did, oh yeah, I put them down here in this tote, right? Okay, so here we go. Two super cute cards that we made today. Oh, I forgot to give you guys my host code earlier, but here we go. This is the new host code for, what month is this? We're in September now, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. The 9RW7QRDW, right? So place an order on line through me you'll get today's projects one of each of these cards you'll get your name entered in the drawing to win the iconic imagery awesome awesome set of dies you also get to pick from the free embellishment again the earth tone shimmer gems as long as they're available or the PDF tutorial, 16 projects in here, demo design, dream team, PDF tutorial, pick either one of those. Plus I'm throwing in five additional cards as a thank you for your order in September to help me earn that trip. I I need some more points, which means I need some more sales. So thank you in advance for considering ordering through me. I always truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And we will be back two weeks from today. Actually, my birthday is next Friday, the 13th, Friday, September 13th. So we are heading up to Mackinac Island. It's one of my absolute favorite places to be. The fall is a great time to be there because it's not quite as busy, um, but I think it's supposed to be perfect, like mid 70s and beautiful weather. So totally looking forward to that. But So we'll be gone next Friday, back two weeks from today, which I think puts it at September 20th craziness. All right. You guys have a great weekend. Um, have a great uh, beginning of September, right? A beginning of fall. Hope you enjoyed these projects and we'll see you soon. And I, again, apologize. I'm not seeing any comments. Totally bumming me out. I'm going to have to like look into that. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you.